Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the old uh, German field phones. Uh, it's a German, or was a German military equipment. Uh, the Feld Fernsprecher FF OBZB, Tragbar Fernsprecher OBZB. Uh, that basically means uh, in German uh, that that is a field phone uh, that is portable, of course. And uh, below we see the manufacturer, a company that doesn't exist anymore, that was in uh, Stuttgart, uh, Germany, where they back then uh, had a really nice gun show for a good while, but then uh, for political reasons, as best as I remember, uh, that got cancelled in the great uh, German place. So, on the side, we see here again some information uh, with the serial number of the thing, and uh, we see on the side 966. Uh, the, that's the manufacturing uh, date, so that would be September uh, 1966, quite an old uh, equipment. Uh, here we have the, the uh, mounting point for the uh, strap, it comes with a strap. On the side, as we have it open, uh, we can fold that up, that is the corbel thing for a, for a corbel so that the other item, uh, it always comes in pairs of course, uh, will ring. Now uh, this one is alone and uh, on top we have uh, some uh, information there. Uh, we have some German military markings that we could take off. On the other side we have of course again a sling mount for a strap. Uh, on the back we have a hinge because the item gonna open up and uh, there are some items in the lid as well, uh, not in this one. Uh, we have the field phone, uh, actual telephone. Uh, then we have the part here that you can flip out and put it on so that that is like that here we have a rubber part on both so that the the cordage not gonna get clamped as you close it up and uh, of course it has some way more features like uh, here the parts where where the cable uh, gets clamped in between the two field phones. Uh, that item works only with a two-part wire that you can put in and uh, clamp on there. And uh, this lever here is uh, simply uh, that it rings uh, relative uh, uh, not loud and here you can have it on loud. Uh, then on the side is the battery box uh, that just uh, holds uh, the regular D cells. To uh, open that up, you have the parts here that you press together, and then the lid gonna open up. And there's some information on that too, how the, the battery goes in it, and then you simply uh, push it in, and that's it. Now, unfortunately, I only have uh, one here on the table of those items because uh, we did get those items from uh, this, this company. We got all in all four pieces and unfortunately uh, three of them had to be returned because they did simply not work or and or uh, parts were missing. So uh, that Unfortunately, it doesn't work out, so if somebody has uh, one of those uh, items that actually work, so please uh, let me know, uh, put something in the comments or uh, email me on the, on the website. 
so I can make a video and show how that is set up with uh, two pieces, how that should. Now, uh, why such field phones? Uh, that is an old-fashioned uh, low-tech a possibility to have a connection, a uh, secure and durable connection between uh, two locations. Uh, the cable uh, can go uh, up to six, seven miles uh, in between, but of course you have a cable, so uh, you need to be careful if you uh, put that over over uh, streets or rivers or you know obstacles. Uh, so it's it's more. Uh, if you have like a, a barn and uh, the house and if you wanna wanna have a connection between uh, that nobody can listen to and you don't wanna wanna use uh, a walkie talkie or anything like that, a, a cell phone as uh, such, uh, a device here would work really well. Uh, the battery power is uh, lasting a long time with those D batteries and uh, if you get two pieces that actually work you can set that up really easy. The uh, cable needed uh, is online. Uh, I got my cable already from uh, eBay and uh, it's, a, it's a used uh, US military cable and uh, that works in that regard. Uh, there were no damages, uh, really hard damages on that rather thin cable and uh, the, the cable itself works, that is all good. And then you can set that up uh, so that you have a private uh, phone line. And uh, if the item actually works, still works, you know, from the 66 or uh, they, they did not make it uh, much longer anymore back then, uh, then that thing quite likely gonna work for the rest of the life. But uh, if you get one that uh, already don't work, from uh, the sales people from the from the store where you got it, you have pretty much uh, small chances to fix that. Even if you have parts to that you can swap, uh, I did try to fix those uh, three pieces by swapping parts so that we at least would have a a, a pair of them. Uh, no chance. Uh, whatever uh, it is uh, inside. Uh, uh, that is not possible uh, to fix. Uh, quite likely some of the electronic parts uh, inside uh, were damaged. Uh, you can take the thing apart if you loosen those four screws. They are captive, they're not gonna come out. And then you can remove the, the bottom part from the upper part and uh, look uh, inside. It even has a rubber, uh, a rubber uh, part in it so that uh, the water would not go in. But uh, there was no chance to fix it. So. It's uh, pretty sad that that uh, mentioned uh, store did uh, sell them as working, as as in working condition, and unfortunately, as you tested, uh, it is not like that. But uh, at least we got a, a full refund. So, so again, if somebody has a second one that works, that is for sale, let me know in the comments so we can make a bit of. Uh, uh, better video about the Ackerschnack as we called it back then. Uh, we had similar devices in the Swiss military as well, but uh, not near as well made as those from Germany. So that much about that field phone.